Hey everyone, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense. Today we're going to be looking at ticker symbol AMPX, Amprius Technologies Inc. This is a viewer requested stock. This is an electrical equipment and parts company. I literally yesterday reviewed VRT, same industry, also industrials. So... I'm guessing these two stocks may be related. I don't know. Um, like I said on my other one, I'm not going to look behind the curtain. I'm not going to look at partnerships, products, etc. I'm going to be looking at the stock, the balance sheet, financial data points, what hedge funds and institutions are doing. Um, so don't be upset with me. If you handed me a deal, a book, or a pamphlet, or brochure, and said, hey, here's my investment, whether it's an ice cream truck or Elon Musk, I need to make sure that the numbers make sense before I even look at the rest of what the heck the business is. So without further ado, let's uh, take a look at the stock. Again, just like VRT, I have no idea what this company does. They actually look like they IPO'd back, or they... They started publicly trading in 2023 and it's just been downhill from here just getting annihilated on the strength the momentum the money flow is just getting go out i found out why they make 10 million dollars worth in revenue but they lose 37 million dollars worth that is a recipe for automatic disaster for a stock because they're going to need to get cash infusion and the only way they're going to get it is from you and other shareholders so i'm going to see if they've done any offerings they have not uh have they done any no notes um i don't think they've they haven't done any dilution. Um, let's see if there's any saving. Okay, there's a saving grace here. They do have cash. I don't know how much. We're going to take a peek. Their sales are also, they've doubled. Well, they've done quite a bit. Uh, 2020, they did 4.6 million. 2021, 2.2. 2022, 4.4. 4. 2023, 9.05. Um, shares outstanding has just been kind of around the same area. EPS, just down into the right like this. We want to see it going like this. So is this curving back up? We're going to find out. Um, so yeah, let's see how much cash they have. They lose 37 and a half million. They need to have quite a bit of cash. They have 45 million. So that, well, that, hold on. They have 39,050,000. Okay. Total assets, 104. Total liabilities, 44. Assets, dwarf liabilities, about two to one. Uh, Long-term debt. They took out a bit of debt here um, back in end of 2023. Uh, let's take a look at their income. Total revenue, pretty, pretty sparse. Um, let's see what their guidance is. So they had earnings on May 9th. Uh, okay. Ah, they're allowing public and private warrants to be exercised at a reduced price. Oh, safe sells into next generation army wearable pack. Again, I don't care if they're working with the freaking aliens out in the universe. The numbers have, the money has to make sense. So let's look at the temporary public and private warrants. Ah. Ooh, actually. Uh, 
So if I'm understanding this correctly, the company wants to buy these back because they think they'll be valued more in the future. But that is that means that the current holders of these warrants think there's no hope for the company. So you've got someone who owns them who's upset. And they're like, why are you offering this? My exercise price is eleven fifty, and you want it at a dollar? That's a slap in the face. But that's also kind of optimistic for the company to do that. Uh, another company that has done this is my or is Play Studios. Um, didn't work out well for them. Uh, their stock went from six to now two something. Okay. All right. Um, so they had a EPS surprise. 2.3 million revs. Ah, there's no guidance there. Give us the guidance on this one. Come on. All right. Um, typically, I would just drop this and say this, this right here disqualifies the company because they're losing more than they make. But and you, it's evident right here. Um, but I do want to see if there is potential. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to go to the freaking website, man. And I'm going to go to the investor portion to see if they have a presentation. So please hold. And this is a water break. Reminder to drink some water. What the heck? All right. So they're going to have some really cool graphics on their investor presentation. Just going to warn you. I haven't seen it before, but I'm guessing they've got little flying cars, drones. Uh, oh, come on. View all presentations. They don't have it. Oh, come on, brother. Um, we're going to look at the January one, I guess. Let's see if they hit their uh, dude. That's so crazy. I changed my email to Goldman Sachs and then they... Okay, anyway, very cool pictures like I had thought. Breakthrough technologies, awesome. All right, let's look at the, let's look at the money. Let's look at the money, come on, come on, come on. This is actually pretty cool. This reminds me of Enphase's uh, inverters, micro inverters. But again, it's all like it's just to get you to feel optimistic. All right, come on. No financial information. That's a bummer. What is the freaking, what's the guidance? Amprius. Good Lord. Okay, maybe it's here, I don't know. All right. Uh, there's no, dude. Maybe here, I don't know.
I'm really going above and beyond. I don't know why. I should have just stopped my review, but now I feel like I'm in a freaking rabbit hole and I need to find the freaking guidance. Okay, here we go. Good afternoon, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Story continues. Story continues. Oh my lord. If you guys, I mean, feel free to check out. Okay. Our gross margin was negative 190 percent. Thank God, compared to negative 518 percent. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, dude. They're going to have some expenses. No guidance. No guidance. Okay. This... Okay, this is a different article. Okay. So, um, guidance. Okay, just gonna, I can just, what am I doing? There's no 2024 guidance, so yeah. We're going to see what institutions and hedge funds are doing. Um, those articles, see, this is why if companies are losing more than they're making, I just stop. And I get this company is going to be the next best thing. But if the numbers don't reflect it, what's the point? Like, of course they can, but what if they're losing millions upon millions? Yeah. So anyway, um, institutions and hedge funds currently you're still with me. Thank you. Uh, institutions own 5.22%. New data is 5.32%. So that's a 0 0.10 increase, which, yeah. Uh, and it looks like the biggest holder is the company. No Vanguards, no Black Rocks yet. Again, I think they want to see, uh, this company prove itself. Wells Fargo. A lot of these big companies, yep, 913,000 shares. They reduced by 50% almost. So, yeah, um, this company just has a lot to prove. And to be honest, I should have stopped there, but I was kind of curious. And we went down this rabbit hole together. If you made it this far, consider subscribing. <laughs> Take care.